Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Stream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play Vincent by Don McLean. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please be sure to give it a quick thumbs up, subscribe, press the notification bell, and leave me a comment telling me what you think of the lesson. Really appreciate it. Let's get into it. The song begins with the verse, and the first couple of bars go like this. Okay, so that's over a G chord, and then it goes to an A minor. So we begin with this little pickup bar, and what you want to do is play the fourth string open, and then hammer the second fret, and then do the same on the third string. So, starry, starry. And then we go to our, to our full G chord. So, um, hold the third fret on the sixth string down, play that with the open second string, then the fourth string open, then the third string, and then it's going to be the top string, of course, the third fret. Just hold it down a G chord. Okay, so that's. So if you put that together. Okay, and then it goes to a sus4 chord, and what you want to do here is just take your first finger, put that on the first fret of the second string. So play that string with the sixth string, and then strings four three, and one. So. So. And then open up that second string, play that with the sixth string, and then play strings four, three, open one, okay, and then third fret on the second string with the sixth string. So that's followed by the fourth string, then the first fret on the second string, and then the third string. So that bar if you put all of that together, you've got Then it goes to an A minor chord, and you get this. Okay, so hold down an A minor and play strings five, four, three, and then one. And then lift off, make it a sus two, and play strings two, which will of course be open, play that with the fifth string, and then four, three, two. So that bar. Okay, and then play that second string with the fifth string together and quickly hammer your index finger onto the first fret. And then four, three, one. So. And then again, open second string with the fifth string. Then play the fourth string and then back onto the first fret on the second string, and then the third string. So that is that bar. And if we attach that to the previous bar, because the A minor spreads across two bars, you get So, so far, That then goes to a C chord. So hold down C and then we're going to play strings five, four, three, one. And then we lift off our index finger, make it a major seven chord, and play strings two and five, and then four, three, two. So all together. Okay, and then that goes to a D7. Okay, so but you can have your top string open to begin with because you're going to play the fourth string 
then the third string, then the second, and then open first, so. And then we can make it a full D7 chord by adding that second fret on the top string on, play that with the fourth string, and then strings three, two, three, so. So from the C, and then it goes back to a G, so we can hold that down like this, and we're going to play top and the bottom string together, and then four, two, three, okay? So once you get to there, that then repeats, and goes round again. So let's go right the way back to the beginning and I'll play up to that G, slowly. To a C, D7, back to G. And then, as I say, it just goes round again. Exactly the same as before. Exactly the same. Um, D7. Until you get to the G. I remember the first time through we went and we repeated the verse once more. On the second time through, we're leading into the chorus and instead you get this. So it's different. So we have that. So it starts the same. Hold down the G and then play the first and the sixth string. And then four, two, three. And then what you want to do is hold down the first fret on the second string and the second fret on the fourth string together. Slide up two frets. Okay, then back down to the first and the second. Play that. And play pull off to open. So. Okay, and then back to our regular G, hold that down, play string six, three, four, one. And then on the B string, the second string, you're going to play open, and then first, then third, and then open. So all together. As I say, that leads into the next section. So coming out of the first verse into the chorus, you get... Okay, so it begins on an A minor, so hold that down, and you're going to play strings 5, 4, 3, and then open 2, okay, and then open 2 again with the 5th string, and again we're going to quickly hammer that 1st fret, so, then play the 3rd string, then the 3rd fret on the 2nd string, and then open top string, so. then to D7, so hold down a full D7 chord and play the top string and the fourth string, and then three, two, three, and then five, four, three, and then open three, so. Okay, so from the A minor, lovely walk down to the E minor. So that's just a G, you just need the third fret on the bottom string, play that, and then strings four, three, two, 
and then exactly the same thing but the second fret on the bottom string. So that's nice and easy. And then it's E minor. Okay, so I'm just really holding down the fourth string, second fret, but play the sixth string open, then the fourth string, second fret, and then the third string, and then the second. So then it's an E minor seven, so add the third fret on the second string, play that with the bass, and then we're gonna play strings three, two, three. So like Okay, really nice. That then goes to an A minor seven. So hold that down and play strings two and five, and then four, three, two, and then open two with the, with the fifth string, then the fourth string, and then we're gonna play the second string open, hammer the first fret, and then the third string. So, so the A minor there is And then it goes to back to a D7 chord, but with the top string open. So you'll play strings four, three, two, one, and then four, three, two, three. Okay, so we've covered quite a lot there. Let's go right the way back to the beginning and go from the A minor. going to strum an E minor chord, okay? And I just strum up to the G string, okay? And then sustain that for one bar, and then we go to an A7, A minor 7, D7, and G. So really, really very nice. So we hold down an A7 chord, and play strings two and five, followed by four, three, two, and then one and five, followed by four, two, three. And then A minor seven, hold that down and play strings two and five, followed by four, three, two. And then it's D seven, and what you can do, you can play the top string open initially, play that with the fourth string, but quickly hammer the second fret on the top string, followed by strings three, two, and open one. Okay, so. And then you get this lovely. Leading back to the next burst. So that's on a G, like this, and play the top and bottom strings together, followed by three, two, three, and then make the third fret on top, the second fret, making it a G major seven. Again, play the first and sixth string, followed by three, open one, and then three. So. that and then we're going to play the third fret on the second string with the bass and then third string open first string and then again second string third fret so so it's quite tricky but that's it because then that goes back into into the next verse so once more, slowly through the chorus.
So as I say, that then goes into another verse, and it's exactly the same as the first one. The only difference is, once you get to the end of it, and you're just about to go into the next chorus, if you think back to before we played... Sorry. And then in that went into the chorus. This time we don't do that. Um, you get to this G, instead of... You just go, and that links on. So it's just one bar of G, and it's a little bit easier, really. It starts the same, so just hold that G down, and you just want to play strings one and six, followed by four, two, three. And instead of, all you do is play strings two and four open, and then first fret, second fret on the same two strings together, slide up two frets, and then open strings two and four. So. That's the only difference. It goes through another verse, another chorus, and then the chorus links on to the bridge. And you get. Now the bridge. Starry night, you took your life as lovers often do. And then that will link into another verse. So again, going into the bridge is a little bit different. So if you go from the A, E minor, the chorus, the A7, A minor, D, and then we get that. So linking into the bridge, it's, this, it's similar to before, but G, hold that down and play strings two and six, and then three, two, three, and then open two and five, followed by three. And then three on the second string and two on the fifth together. And then the first string again, so. And then you're into the bridge. So hold down an A minor and just play strings two and five, followed by four, three, one. And then third fret on the second string with the bass, then the third string, open top, and then the first fret on the second. To D7, and play strings one and four, followed by three, two, three, and then five, four, three, and then open three. So. We've got that walk down. Same as before, just the G, and then the F sharp in the bass. And then E minor, E minor 7, but this time play the top and bottom string together, followed by 4, 3, open 2, and then 3rd fret on the 2nd string, making it an E minor 7, with the bass, and then strings 3, 2, So that's all making sense so far, but then we play an A minor, that that's a stain for a bar, and then a C minor, like this, it's just, you know, the shape here, I'm sure you know it, clamp down on the third fret, and then you've got three, four, five, five, and three. But if you're learning this song, I assume you know your, bar, your basic bar chords. So C minor like that, again, let that sustain, and then, lovely bit here. So this is over a G bar chord. So you want to hold down a G bar chord and play string six, five, and then three and four. And then just down to an F, full bar chord, same thing. Okay, so. And then 
in a an E7. So for this E7, I'm playing the third fret on the second string, first fret on the third string, and then second fret on the fifth, but with the D string open. Like that. And here I'll play strings six, five, uh, three, and four together. And then two, one and six, and then four. So. Okay. So from the A minor. Da, 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 da. Starry, starry night. You took your life as lovers often do. And then hold down to A minor 7 and play strings 2 and 5. And then 4, 3, 1. Lift off your first finger, play strings 2 and 5. And then 4. And then back on with the first finger, play that. And then the third string. So. Then a C, and just arpeggiate 5, 4, 3, 2. Lift off, make it a C major 7, and play 2 and 5, and then as before, so 4, 3, 2. D7, strings 4, 3, 2, open 1, and then 2nd on the top. Okay, and then... So that's just on our G, strings 1 and 6, 4, 2, 3, and then add the 1st fret on the 2nd string and the 2nd fret on the 4th string, play that, followed by the 3rd string, and then lift them off, and again play strings 2 and 4, followed by 3. So, okay, and then almost done, strings 1 and 6. Four, three, two, and then just links on to another verse. So here's this bridge one more time, just leading into the bridge from the G. The only other part of the song, really, is the uh, is the outro. Which goes like that. So after where we just got up to, goes into another verse and then another chorus and then the outro is, is what we just played here. So you can go from that A7 of the chorus and then you've got this little outro. So let's break that G down. It's very similar to the end of the first chorus, uh, very similar indeed. So it so starts on our G and play strings one and six, and then three, two, three, and then again make it the G major seven, so the second fret on the top string together, and then third string, open first string, and then the third string. So. Okay, then third fret on the second string, with the bass, and then strings four, three, open one, and then first fret on the second string with the bass, and then four, open two, three, so that bar, and then we just have a hammer on four, fourth string to open to second fret, same on the third string. And then just to finish, just arpeggiating a G chord, 
So hold that down and play second string with the sixth string, and then four, three, two. So that's it for this lesson. I really hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, press the notification bell. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. And also, if you want to invest further in your playing, I've got a whole bunch of figure picking courses that you can take on my website. The link is in the description.